after last week, I was hoping that they were going to keep the trend of these brand new six day contests going, but we were wrong. We were very, very, very wrong. And we're back with a four final network contest. They couldn't have done it in, in, in a worse order, could they? Like, do you know what I mean? They do this absolute banging event, give us all a bit of hope, and then go, nah, four final network. And unfortunately, it's still a million. I was hoping that they were going to start to make every single event go on for six days, guys. Because then it kind of gives you something to do every week. Now, I was looking at the rewards for this one, and they are pretty decent. Now, again, guys, I don't, I don't have any advice for you for these ones. I just want to break down the rewards, and then I'm going to do some PvP, I think. Because a lot of you have been asking me to carry on with PvP. So, basically, guys, just spend diamonds on stamina, then you're going to double your points. There's my amazing advice for you. So, what we have here is some pretty decent progression rewards. 200 shards for Swedish Chef, 120 shards for Russell and Kevin. But the problem we have there is that it is very difficult to get to a million. Then we're going to get 600 diamond crates, which again is ridiculous. All of these buffs, which again is absolutely mental. And then loads of shards here. So basically, all the rewards are brilliant in here, but they're brilliant because of how annoying this game is. Because it's a 4 other network contest which basically requires no skill. So, we are kind of trapped a little bit there unfortunately. But that's basically, that's basically the way it's going. You know, I, I don't have much more to say, that's, that's where we're stuck unfortunately. Um, the Sheriff Crater has come out, and at 9,000. 9,000 for... F yeah, I'm, I'm not doing that. That's ridiculous. I'm not that fussed about the Sheriff. I mean, come on. I'm, I'm still kind of pushing my uh, uh, red skills at the moment, so... <coughs> i got a couple of resets here. So I'm going I'm to keep it going now until there's like a double uh, money event. And then I'm going to shoot through the, um, the elite one. Especially now you can raid everything, guys. So you never even need to play that mode. Which is very, very nice. So let's let's get back into the PvP now. So I should have a couple of keys um, to jump into. And yeah, I want to keep pushing. Because obviously I'm going to need as many diamonds as I can to push through this event, guys. Um, I need to do a Colosseum battle first, actually. Just so I can rank in here. Lovely. So let's see. Oh, it's, oh yeah, it's just the bear traps at the moment, isn't it? So always, I always like to just tickle someone easy first. But my, um, my Colosseum team at the moment, guys, is pretty solid. It's a pretty solid team. Here we go. Oh, big hit. Big hit. Look at that. Well, obviously, I'm going to win, guys. I've nearly got, like, 14 million more power here. And I really rate how, basically, Gonzo kills everyone with his roll. Ducky and Bunny are basically my main characters for that team. And this one we have Ian. So I, what my kind of advice on the Colosseum team is, guys, and this is very, very straightforward, which everybody should know, is have a relatively good tank and have a relatively good damage dealer on each team. And you really shouldn't have too much of an issue, let's be honest. Um, let's first one is a bit harder here. So what I mean here is on this team, I've got Clawhauser and Mulan as my attack characters. On this team... I've got Gerald as my tank. Oh, someone's just subscribed. I got Gerald as my tank and Beast as my damage dealer. You know, it it's all about that, guys. And then on my third team, we have Maximus as my tank, Hades as my tank, and then two damage dealers here. And because they're particularly not great on health, I've got Kermit just to give me that extra little push. Now, of course, I will probably win this one again straight away, guys. The laser alert. Everyone's dead. I just, there's something about Duck and Bunny with that move, guys, which is just fantastic. Absolutely brilliant. Yes. Look at that. Top, top of the pops. Let's go over a 20, 20 million team. Bit more, bit more of a difficulty here, but you know, 
we shouldn't need to because guys because i'm so pro we shouldn't need to worry at all plus at the moment i'm trying to get gerald up to yellow so he'd be fantastic in obviously the 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 other team that i'm using here so when i get gerald up this team will be sorted with tanks so it, it's basically just i'm working on basically trying to get enough yellow characters to fill up my Colosseum team at the moment, guys. Which shouldn't be too much of an issue, really. Just that, that cheeky little firework. With Ian, I'm going to I'm gonna get four skill power mods on him. And fully smash up his uh, moves. So if, if we go to Ian now, I don't think I've got enough shards to actually swap something over to Ian yet. Um, oh, I do. Because I, I actually did loads of sum, um, summons recently. So... If I go into here, we've already got two skill badges. So what I want to do is go onto another red character and max the skill badges up first. Let's see if I get one to plus ten, guys. So let's find someone who's got loads of mods on them. Probably QGV and Louis have probably got loads. 200, not enough. 300. What? Oh, Kevin. 1,000. So badges? Um, I haven't got them to purple. <laughs> I haven't even got them to purple yet. Let's just... um. No, I do not want to get them up to orange. I just want to go up to purple. Lovely. Okay. So I'm going to... Oh, purple one. Okay, fine. If I have to, game. If you are really forcing me to do this to Kevin, I guess I'm going to have to do it. Okay, great. Now I can do mods. Now let's get a... Oh, we've already got one to plus ten. And we've got two to plus ten. Ah, okay. Sorry, I, I did not realise that. I'd, I've upgraded Kevin for no reason. The game has snaked me. <laughs> okay, so we want to grab this plus 10 equipped. Lovely. We want to grab this plus... Oh, no, 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 not like that. We want to grab this one. And we want to get the other plus 10 equipped. Lovely. And then on these guys, I, I basically want to I want to put the um, green skill mod on all of them. So these are obviously pretty good. So what, what I could do here to further increase my Ian is obviously bounce into back into... Who was I looking at? Who was I looking at? Back up to the red team. I was looking at Kevin. So I will grab... I will steal one of those that are on him at the moment. Um, I might as well just start a new one, haven't I, actually? Why not? Okay, and then advance... Yeah, there we go. One there. Equipped. Advance. Lovely. There we go. So, that's good enough for my boy Ian, guys. Especially because he's one of my favourite characters. So, now we go to Ian, and this should shoot his power up. So, we just not knock these ones off for now. Um, where are we? Plus nine. E oh, I haven't got enough shards for him. Alright, that's a little bit naughty. Right, I can probably get those, though. I've still got enough stamina going here. So I need five more shards. Radle. Reset. Radle. And that's, actually, I'm just going to do this because I, I need a load anyway, so. Let's do a 40 now as well. Ooh, that leveled me up. I forgot about the levels up. Okay, lovely. So that's put me on 40 now, which is great. Awesome. So then I can get my next mod up for Ian as well. Um, oh, to be fair, I should have, if I had half a brain, I would have actually leveled those ones up because they already had the, <laughs> oh, well, damage is done. Equipped. Yeah, boy. Okay, so now we can, um, uh, upgrade these. Oh, the mod needs to be, so let's get all the mods to level 30. I think it's the green skill, which is, um, Ian's good one. So if we go into skills, Boombastic, yes, is his green one. And now let's let's upgrade every single mod he's got to the Boombastic one. Green skills add. We're just going to go full firework here, guys. It, it's going to be ridiculous. Ten levels. Um, I need to level this up first to level 30-odd. Great. And then we can upgrade with the green skill. Bang. And then we can go on to this one. Level it up to level 30 odd. And then we can upgrade that with a green skill. Now, guys, <laughs> Ian's firework move is going to be absolutely ridiculous. Um, can I upgrade them all again? Uh, mod needs to be level 40. Let's get it another. Okay, there we go. Look at that. 
and I think I've still got enough yet to equip it onto this one when I get enough. So that's all looking very, very good, guys. Um, so let's uh, let, let's let's continue in here. Actually, I, I want to get to my um, 25, guys. Come on, let, let's max Ian out. Yes, 25. Okay, Ian. Now we're going to go on to items, mods, and we're going to swap this one out. It was a, I shouldn't have really done it the way I did, guys, but, you know, there we go. Wait, wait, why can't I see the other one on, um... Wait, what? Okay, for some reason it wasn't letting me swap that onto him. Alright, let's try it now. Okay. There it is. Equipped. Lovely. Okay, now I can level this one up as well. Look at that, guys. I've got a four green mod boost on, <clears throat> on Ian here. That's pretty ridiculous. <laughs> oh, wait. Let's, let's, um, let's take a look at his firework move here as well. All right, all right, all right. So let's let's max him out. Get his skills all up. Um, so basically, guys, next I'm just gonna keep pushing his red skill now, um, so I can get his skill power up even more. Because I don't particularly need to upgrade his mods anymore, guys. So let's have a look at his skills. Plus 50 levels. That's ridiculous. And then obviously, guys, what's great is um, as I upgrade these mods, it's obviously going to um, increase every single bit. For Ian as well, and every single mod I upgrade here, this is all also going to um, help me with getting his doing more damage here, which is brilliant. So I can't. Oh, that's fantastic. Now we're getting loads of extra damage on the lightning as well. So that brings Ian to a good level. Wait, have I not been doing his um, friendship missions? Oh, I haven't. Okay. That's a little bit naughty of me. I probably don't even need to make a video on this to be honest, you guys. I'll probably just skip through all of these. But yeah, so. There we go, guys. Um, my latest upgrade, which I've been meaning to do for a while. I didn't actually expect to do that in this video. But we've got Kermit, and we've turned him into the firework, the firework god now, guys. Which is fantastic. And I didn't realise I have so many badge bits for this character. So, also, I, I need to push through these so I can actually get the um, badges upgraded. But, yeah, guys, that is fantastic. That's absolutely fantastic. I've got Ke Ian upgraded that much Let, let's get a let's get a um, badge start up again you can just mash the always in the same place which i appreciate there we go should we, see, should we just see if we can finish it guys let's, let's have a look i'd be shocked if i couldn't finish this and get ian's friendship this maxed out look at that you just keep trigger fingering it keep trigger fingering through here we go Two more left. Two more left. Not... Yeah, easy. They, they give you the deadest characters on um, Ian's friendship mission. He's basically become the firework lord now. And he's such a vital character to have alongside um, Kermit as well, guys. Like, I cannot stress that enough. He's such a important character to have. So he... Because his reflect... When Ian puts Reflect up, you then use Kermit's special and it puts Reflect on everyone. It, it It's fantastic. It's absolutely fantastic. Maybe I should fully upgrade his Friendship Disc as well. There we go. So I've done that. What even is his Friendship Disc? I should have probably looked before I spam this. Whenever I receive Reflect, he, oh yeah, 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 yeah. And then we get the Reflect damage up as well, which is fantastic. So um, what I really need to work on here is up... Because I don't think his other disc is that good at all. No. Yeah, I don't, really don't care about that. You don't need to gain extra energy. That's what I don't get. Like, you get energy left, right, and center anyway. So what I need to do here is sort out um, Goliath. So I, I need to find Goliath and upgrade him so I can get Ian's disc upgraded to further increase the reflect damage. And that's basically going to just pick up a ridiculous sort of overall smash for my team here. So let's get Goliath up to the highest level I possibly can do. Where, where is he? There is. Okay, so... So, let's just let's just do that for now, right? Let's just, just keep it like a steady balance. Um, then I'll go on to Friendship Discs. This is one, and... Whoop. 
There we go. So now he's got a nice amount of HP and the Reflex doing a decent amount as well. And obviously, guys, I need to get as many of these as I can. I might start to push these in the missions, you know. So I can, I can, drop, <clears throat> can drop that one now. Then I can go into missions and I can start that one, um, which is great. There we go. So that means every single day now... I can get plus 200 of them. Let's do that. Oh, what? Well, that's a bit lame, isn't it? Anyway, guys. <clears throat> we said I needed seven. What? Oh, wait. Why does it give you the option to... Sp Why is this so complicated? But... What? It said I need... What? Wait, what? Well, that makes no sense. Anyway, guys, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you legends all in the next one.